Hey, what's up guys, Max here, and wanted to make a quick video about raids. So it's, it, dude, what a week, what a week, man. Okay, so it's it was taken down, as you can see, it's no longer there. First, we had issues with raids. Completely removed, then it was launched the following day. And then again, we a few of us were able to get in uh, that were within that time window or awake, you know, depending on your time zone that you're in, got in there, started completing some of the path. I started noticing, by the way, I don't know if anybody else noticed that my champions weren't doing as much attack. Like I would go from like dealing like 400,000 damage to like all of a sudden dealing only 2000 damage. I used a bunch of revives, got a couple of the mini bosses down, work our way through the entire map, kind of. Um, and then also the the guys in the alliance, at least in the group that I was in, uh, put in a lot of effort to get it all completed. So as we're kind of talking to each other, you know, we're all busy with our days, work and family and stuff, the raids disappear. Notifications come from Kabam saying, hey, raids are gone and they're being taken down. Um, and there's obviously word on compensations and what they're going to be doing. OK, but they're not really taking down. So what ends up happening is that a lot of the players figure this out, which I didn't know. I was live streaming and I got told saying, hey, you know what? You can still get into raids by uh, accessing it through the chat. Now, this is around like 10 o'clock at night hours after it got removed so kabam's no longer in the office they're out of home no one's working you know at the moment since it's a canadian based company um so guess what everybody's sneaking in there trying to get the rewards trying to get as many uh as many fights you know obviously you're going to be using some revives but so keep in mind you're using your stash gets in there at least the players that did join raids now the ones that did not join raids while it was open it sucks. They weren't able to get in there because you had to have your team, your champion already selected and inside raids and you were able to access it. Right. So we get all these rewards. Cool. So now the community feels a, a little bit torn because, hey, I still want to get into the raids. So it's so Kabam shut it down, but really didn't shut it down because we figured out a way to get in. And then so it, it really makes plus a, a chunk of our players not able to get into the raids and feels kind of like you're missing out on these rewards. Right. While the other players in the same alliance, by the way, giving you are getting all these rewards, you know. So, um, man, it, it was a mess. But here's the result. Ultimately, kind of happy with what Kabam is going to be doing. So it's going to pay out everybody um, the rank rewards that you finish the prior month within at the end of, I guess, the week. And then the following week, we're going to be able to so make sure, by the way, your alliance, your alliance leaders, officers and leaders of your alliance to make sure they're enrolled for raids again, because we're going to have that starting again the following week. So we're all going to have a shot at raids again. Should be fixed, should be squared away. We're going to get those rank uh, those rank rewards or alliance rewards or chess as, we, uh, as well uh, all over again. So you're going to be able to claim all those resources. So kind of sucks that the fact that it was bugged and still bugged when it was shut down. Um, but I think ultimately the results and the fix and kind of what is being done to get the fix involved is good. Now, that doesn't really mean that revives are still uh, there's people missing tokens or tickets to be able to get into raids. There's people still missing a bunch of revives that they were on. Uh, uh, they were used on the raids. So I think a good solution would be obviously to give everybody just a free raid access or all everybody in the community and the players just the tokens tickets needed to be able to uh, activate a raids and also I uh, start the purchase of revives all over again letting people purchase maybe two sets of revives I mean they cost a gold they cost one gold I think I don't know if we can see it here uh, yeah there we go it's gonna it costs one gold so you know some people bought them they were getting expired so they probably got expired by now so I think that would be a good fix as well on top of what Kabam is already doing so what are your thoughts though leave it in the comments how do you feel what your situation was when it comes to raids hey Kabam is the best company in the world don't forget it all right guys take care <laughs> oh man I'll see you guys on the next video peace for real though can, can we uh, fix my RNG?
best company in the world. Hashtag best company in the world. If you if you're watching this right now, leave it in the comments.